So everybody watching, I just gotta say welcome back to a new episode of Fresh from the Fleet. My name is Mick. Remember, this is not a regular thrifting video. This is actually a thrift haul video. These are pieces that I did find, but not on camera. And before we get into the party, I gotta remind everybody out there, I do sell my stuff. Remember, link is down below. Do check out the Depop. If you do wanna get some vintage, new, or something high-end, go check it out, link down below. Also with that, I gotta thank everybody out there who's been ordering. You guys, you guys, you guys. Ah. It's summertime and you have been killing it. Definitely keep me busy and keep me happy. And if you guys are enjoying the video, a little reminder please hit that like button it really does help me a lot as well as that please hit the subscribe button if you're not already and hit that bell button if you want to see when I upload immediately because do you really want to miss out on the good finds I didn't think so let's just get into the heat gotta start this off right with a solid piece I got so many questions about when I posted up on Instagram this was actually a piece that I picked up right before I came back it's on a Tennessee River Gold just awesome size XL it's a very 90s piece if you know what I'm talking about it is a CK so a Calvin Klein spoof Cosmo Kramer. If you guys don't know who that is, or probably the reason why nobody even picked this piece up when I found it, is because everybody knows the character Kramer. Not a lot of people know his first name. Everybody out there, if you guys know the TV show Seinfeld, it actually spanned from 1989 all the way to 1998. So he's that eccentric, crazy neighbor uh, that Jerry Seinfeld does have with that crazy hair. Uh, a awesome piece, I gotta say, front and back, it is super clean. I did pick this one up for $3.49. I was so happy when I found it. I just scooped it up right away. This piece usually goes for around 40 and up. Uh, 35 if you can find it and are lucky, but the fact is, it's a size XL. It's just awesome, a nice baggy fit. And a bunch of people were asking about it, but this one's going in the stash for now. Oh, sorry. On to that, the next piece, a vintage Marlboro backpack, just awesome in that red colorway, as well as the patch. I mean, when I found it, I scooped it up for $4.99. I was happy to. Uh, just at the random spot, it really was. Front and back's pretty clean, you can see the wear in it, but uh, other than that, no rips, no tears, no stains. And you know that's what I'm all about. Yeah. Definitely a solid piece for five bucks if you ask me. That's that, uh, this is a recent pickup right here. It's a polo jeans cap. It's got a little bit of, uh, I'm thinking this is like a little hint of bleach right here. Very small. I did find it in the pile of stuff. It was a small bin of hats that I usually search through and I always come up on something. This is a nice piece again, polo jeans company. If you know the whole buyout of Ralph's name and his, his multi-million dollar buyback then you know about polo jeans but it is a solid dad cap seriously it does say polo jeans right in the back right there like a little tag on the inside one size fits all that's why i scooped it up for 3.99 if you guys are gonna want it it's gonna be on depop go check it out now if you guys are familiar with a bathing ape or bape then you'll know this so this is ape by a bathing ape i have found a few pieces at a local thrift store and did find a water bottle at the swap me before which is still in the collection it had the same print pretty much if you are familiar with bape hats you know that the inside of the hat, it's got this like, like tiny little booklet in there. So it does say a bathing ape, nowhere co. So I did pick this one for $5.99, very happy to. Nice flat brim, still definitely buttery, still crispy. Yes, it is a $59.50 hat, it does say small medium, but it does have that snap on there. And it's got the little ape head. The hologram sticker is actually still on here. It does say ape shall never kill ape. Super clean piece, definitely. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, if I'm gonna keep it or I'm going to sell it off. It's just pretty cool, seriously, ape at the thrift. And another piece I did pick up recently with with the polo jeans hat this vintage element skateboard see right here made in usa say element for life skateboards so this one actually hits home with me because i grew up with element skateboards i definitely did grew up next to 118 board shop which was a legendary skateboard shop for the san fernando valley p rod was a regular there when he was coming up so because of that uh definitely element was a big part of it skateboards t-shirts i mean you name it it was the thing only for me and my friends skateboarding at one time was just life every day you lived and breathed skateboarding this one's a cool piece to bring home very clean that's that another pickup right here the silver label levi striped button up big e you guys know about big e i mean i've been looking for big e denim for so long i never came up on myself so it's very funny coming up on this one being a big e shirt uh i still picked it up anyway and they wanted like six bucks for it so i just scooped it up it is a size large and if you guys want it remember it's gonna be on depop it's front and back all over again why did i pick it up because it's just super clean this one's actually tagged in the era of the 80s so it's just again another vintage piece for the books if you guys are into the local men's haberdashery getting your suits and your gloves and some ties and you'll know about this one. If you see, this is a very equestrian piece and you flip that one around. I love this one because it actually says Polo by Ralph Lauren Nordstrom. So I got a little collection of ties going on from Gucci, Chanel, a Ferragamo, Polo, a Kuji, which was a very big surprising one, Versace, and uh, it keeps going. So this is another one for the collection and this one was scooped at a dollar. 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 Had to. So if you guys are into the vintage art world, I know a lot of people are talking about, you know, Escher, 
They're talking about uh, Keith Haring, I mean, Andy Warhol. And this piece, I gotta say, is going back to Salvador Dali. It is a crazy piece because, so Supreme did a collaboration with MC Escher. This one, they actually did the melting clocks. You can see right there, it's a crazy piece. I wish this was a men's piece, but you can see that that neck is very wide. So it is a women's piece, but it is a sick piece nonetheless. Front and back here, $2.49. And I mean it, this one is an awesome, awesome just art piece all over i love it now it's not a high-end piece right here a vintage burberry's blue nova check button-up so sick definitely this one actually matches the scarf that i picked up not too long ago for 2.99 this one was picked up for 12.99 when i found it there was no way i was gonna leave it behind i got a scoop it was a local and new pickup i actually posted up on the instagram you guys gotta forgive me about that one m plus rc noir i've seen the pants go for astronomical prices so i found this one in the ladies section it was just so sick again some joggers you guys can see the print but it's right on the back of the leg and it goes through on both of them on the same side and then the print is pretty cool i've never seen that I've... i don't know if you guys can hear that in the audio but somebody i think she's just threw a bunch of firecrackers like outside right now i'm hearing it i've seen this zipper kind of work before with like polo sport and hilfiger where the uh spell out is actually in the zipper and that's pretty cool on both pockets this is actually a size medium it is actually up on depop right now if you guys want to go get it remember scoop it up get a first deal now it's not a vintage crew neck in this hot weather you gotta get it i'm serious you gotta scoop them up now so when the winter comes you're all set but check it out it does say cancun and can you guys see why I picked it up though? Can you see it? It is the Apple logo right here. I had a scoop. So it's on a boundary line size XL made in USA. It does say Cancun in a crazy colorway, but it does have the Apple logo right there. And I just, I just couldn't leave it behind. You know, that vintage Apple stuff is so sick and let alone being a bigger size. No brainer. I don't know. Again, at the time, Steve Jobs everywhere, man. Not to that, I did pick up the vintage guest organizer or phone book directory just so sick first off you see that metal plate that say guest you open that up and you get the guest bordeaux logo in there i hope you can see it there it is right there and you open up it does have the area code and number name and address it's just so sick no one's ever used it before check it out another bordeaux logo in there it does pop freshly question mark on the little clasp right there i just not only did i find this one okay at the thrift but i did find this one too it is a guest man box right here now what was in it i'm thinking maybe some fragrance a tie uh, i have no idea but it is so sick nonetheless i mean this one's picked up at the local thrift it is literally gonna be a wall hanger i mean can this fit in there i have no idea i never tried maybe it does maybe it doesn't but that's another story. So, I mean, these are awesome coming up for like three bucks and nice vintage pieces for the low and right into the collection they go. It rhymes, so it's true. Not to that eight older Stussy piece. I had to talk about this one. It's a size large. I wish it was an XL, uh, but it fits nonetheless. Check it out. The Stussy logo with that tie dye eight ball. And then you flip it around, it does have that bigger logo with that big eight ball in there. Definitely an awesome piece. And this is a summer piece. Front and back, you can see there is some wear, but it's very little. And that's what I love about this stuff. 349 steel. And I just had to. Again, if you guys are gonna want this piece, remember a link down below. Do check out the Depop. I just gotta say that is so sick. Let me let me read this pink hoodie for you. If you guys know already know what it is, maybe you don't. Esteban Cortazar, J Balvin by 77. If you guys know about this one, it, I'm gonna show the comps right now on this piece. But it's crazy because it's got spellouts on both sides. Crazy, crazy hoodie. It very is. And I mean, this matches summertime, maybe. Summer, you know, nights or something like that. Look at the tie-dye and the pull string right there. I mean, it's just crazy because I did pick this one up at the women's section. Pretty much sticking out like this. And I can see the sleeves. Something about it just popped. And I scoop for the low. Uh, it's a size medium right there. Billionaire Girls Club. With the same type of logo as the Billionaire Boys Club. You got the tag right here. It does say flagship exclusive made in mexico i checked the comps they are very decent that's why i picked this one up for three bucks i just had to very strange kind of crazy going back to that apple logo uh crew neck this was actually an embroidered apple logo t-shirt finally actually found one in my size and this one's definitely going to be a keeper right here until i want to sell it off but that is so cool the apple logo is actually fully embroidered and that's the reason why i picked it up i mean 249 is 249 and that's why when i scoop you know, i'm going to now this one is a weird one again it was scooped up for two dollars 49 cents it is a fetish shirt pocket tee now it's crazy to see fetish shirts when you flip that one around and you see the big 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 tuna 
Maybe a pun is intended right there. I mean, if you guys can see, it's all tuna. And then you got the big busty girl right here. I mean, that's just funny all around. It is a size XL, another larger piece. And that's why I love picking up these ones. These are very strange, very funny, and they come from a different time. Now check this one out, going back to that M plus RC Noir. I remember the zipper pocket that I was talking about? Well, this one is a similar one where you got the Tommy Hill figure right in the middle. So you zip that one down and the two separate. It's like a sports polo and then you flip that around and it actually has a Hill figure spell right in the back. I mean, not too huge, but cool enough. I mean, the place was taxing on it for $8, but it is what it is, Hilfiger piece. You guys want it, remember it's gonna be on the Depop, link down below. Don't have to remind you after a while, but check it out. Just say Tommy Hilfiger right there, it's pretty cool. That's so that a 80s piece right here. Check out the Beefy Haynes 80s tag in there. And it does have the cats right in the front, and then you flip it around for a little surprise. Booty! <laughs> Booty! You know what I'm talking about. These usually had a place at the bottom, like it would just say like Cancun, or it would say California or something like that. And the fact that this one is actually just a regular print with the cats, it's pretty cool because it does say Hepcat Nashville, Tennessee, small print, and it does say 1986. A very 80s piece, and it's a size medium 38 to 40, so it's a little smaller. You guys can see the bottom right there. For an 80s piece being in this good of a condition, uh, $3 well spent. That for $1.48, it is on a Lee, uh, made in USA, size XL, another bigger piece, teal colorway. It does say eight minutes to earth. Now, if you guys don't know what eight minutes to earth is, this is actually how long light takes to come all the way to earth from the sun. We got a solar flare. We're seeing that eight minutes of doom coming towards us. But I gotta say knock on wood on that one. I just gotta say that is a pretty cool piece. I mean, going back to some childhood, you know, science stuff that I love science. I mean, I love that idea. I like the way they did it because it's a full circle that goes around. And it, it's pretty cool that it's a made in USA on a Lee and it does say that. A little cracky in there it gives it that vintage flow that I like to see. But with that, I just gotta say thank you guys for watching. It was truly awesome to be going over all these pieces again because I did find them, I did keep them, I did buy them, but I didn't get to show them on camera and make a video about it. It's just those moments where I'm in the thrift store and I grab something and I gotta go. I don't have the time to sit there and film and do the stuff that I wanna do. But hey, it is what it is and I got it right here. Another thrift haul vid down. Another reminder, a giveaway is coming soon, so stay tuned. And with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.